Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is day four of my Halloween colour along and I'm choosing this book again to colour from today and I'm also going to be using the Faber-Castell connector pens which are my felt, basically felt tip pens. But these, they're called connector pens because you can connect them together like this like the actual caps of the pen you can clip together so that's the pens that I've decided I'm going to use today um, and the picture that I'm going to colour in is this one which is cute right let me just get my page protector right now we want orange, so we've got orange, we've got another orange, and I also want, all right, I'm gonna go for these three colors for the pumpkin. So I'm gonna go for this one. I hope everyone's having a good day so far. Wow, can you see what's happening to this this book as I'm colouring with these pens? How it's lifting the, the fibres of the paper up. Wow, these pens don't like this paper at all. They're li literally lifting the fibres straight off the paper. So I'm going to have to um, leave some streaks on this one, I'm afraid. I've never had this issue with these pens before. And this is Amazon paper, so I'm not entirely sure why it's um, causing the fibres to lift up. And I've forgotten again to show you the, the picture that I finished off last night. Um, from yesterday's um, video. Well, I'm actually really um, surprised. I'm, I am genuinely shocked that these pens are um, just literally tearing the paper to pieces. You would think really that um, the alcohol markers would have this effect, not just your, your standard um, felt tip, which is basically what these are. And they are leaving a lot of streaks as well, and I'd, I don't like that, but I'm just gonna have to, um, to deal with it with these pens. Because I like to go around in circles like this, like do circular motions with the pen. But because I'm having, because when I do circle mo motions, it's literally just pulling the fibres up. So I'm having to, to go across in lines. So of course, because I'm going across in lines, it's, um, it's causing the ink to streak on the paper. So I'll make a mental note not to use these pens in this book. I 
As I say, it's okay when I'm going in lines. Okay, and let's do... I'm going into a bit of a zone then, I'm sorry. <laughs> you must think these videos are so boring. Yes, yeah, so I wouldn't recommend these pens in this in this particular book. So we have got another um, another copy of this picture, so it's all good. One of the glories of the Jade Summer books, you always get a duplicate picture. So maybe this book will come in handy for next year's Halloween. As if I'm still colouring by then, but I probably will be. What colour are the um, the tops of the um, pumpkins? Are they like um, like an off green colour? I don't use these pens very often either. One of the main reasons why I don't use them is because they streak. I do find that my alcohol markers streak less. making my hand ache. Anyway, I am sorry that I didn't do my live stream. I've uh, I had a really, really busy day at work. It feels like it's just a cop out when I say that, but it is genuine. I'm just 
I'm getting home from work and I'm absolutely shattered. Um, I didn't get home from work today till coming up to seven o'clock. And, you know, I finish work at three. So that's just to give you a bit of an indicator of what kind of day that I've had. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not been the best. And then I've had to, to eat as well. I've had to get my, um, get my dinner and stuff like that so it's it's been a little bit hectic today to say the least i feel like i say this pretty much every day but, but every day is literally the same it doesn't really matter what day of the week it is every day tends to be the same And these pens are actually making my hand ache. Right, so there is the first part of the pumpkin. Now with the other orange, I'm just going to go on the insides. inside his mouth right this pen isn't um, pulling up the fibers so much so I'm wondering if it was just that one particular shade of orange and yellow for the inside okay so there is the pumpkin now i want like a, a bit of a, an off greeny color for the top here so how about something like this There we go. Right, what colour then shall we do this little blobby? I'm thinking, I think it'd be quite cute in, uh, ooh, how about this colour? Yeah, unfortunately, this isn't um, this really isn't going too well in this book. I am I am actually quite disappointed in these pens. I've never had an issue with them before. I 
which is why I'm uncertain why they're uh, why they're not doing too good because I've used exactly this paper before like the Amazon paper with these pens I'm pretty sure I have I actually feel like I shouldn't put this video up on YouTube because it's uh, it's terrible I thought this colour would look good as well. I was wrong. Oh, the colour itself's okay. It's just the way it's going onto the paper. It almost looks like this colour's running out. But I think this is the first time I've actually even used this colour. I'm not, it's a video. Uh, <laughs> Durr. Oh, I'm going to get some. No, it's Friday, they'll be open 24 hours. Okay, that's him coloured in the best I can. Um, right, let's give him some of these spots. These spots were already here on the picture. I'm just putting a few dots on the on the page which I probably shouldn't have done really considering it's uh, pulling the paper fibers up but it looks all right I think the colours are actually quite good, to be fair. Right, we're going to give him... Should we give him some yellow teeth? Yellow teeth and orange eyes. And 
Maybe we'll give him some yellow eyebrows as well. And the inside of his mouth. It's horrible green colour. You wouldn't want to give him a kiss, would you? <laughs> okay, there's he done. And then we'll go all nice and pretty with the flowers. So let's have a nice red flower. See, this colour isn't pulling up the fibres. It only seems to be like certain colours. I guess it's not looking too bad. Could be worse. I'm thinking I might do this little guy here in green. For all these little scary creatures amongst all the pretty coloured flowers. Okay, there's a flower. Right, what colour shall we do the inside of it? How about a nice soft pick, um, pink? Have you noticed I'm just um, winging it with the colours? Sometimes I think that's the best way to, to go. Right, let's do the inner petals of this flower in this coral. Do the middle of it orange. And how about we do this nice pink?
yeah it was definitely the um the colors i was using because these aren't um pulling up the fibers at all they obviously would if i went over it too many times you can tell that it's going to start lifting the paper fibers up Right, how are we doing for time? Right, we're on 26 minutes, so another five minutes and then I will show you the picture I finished off yesterday. And then we will end this video. Right, let's do a nice green. I want a light green. I don't want anything too dark. So let's go for this green for the leaves. These colours, unfortunately, don't have names on them, which is a shame. So I do like it when pens and pencils have like names on them. I just like to know what colour I'm using. <laughs> I'm just weird. I think he will look really nice in like pink or like a really bright purple. Right, I'm going to do these leaves the same colour because they do look like they're all part, they're all the same kind of leaf. Colour green. I want to do this guy first before I end the video. So I'm going to go with this green. He looks toxic. quite funny looking I like him and strangely enough because even though the colors was messed up on this one when I went on the paper I actually think he looks pretty pretty good considering the colors aren't what I um, originally wanted but Right, we'll finish this guy off and then I will be ending the video. We can't leave this little green monster. 
half finished. Oh, and I am sorry as well that I've not been putting any descriptions in the um, well in the description box because um, I've been uploading these directly from my phone. I haven't been able to like put my any like affiliate links or anything on. So when I do get to my PC and providing I remember, I will put um, my affiliate links on. It's just that with this week being so hectic, I just haven't had the time to to get to my pc switch it on and uh, get all the links set up and whatnot so i am sorry about that but when i can i will i will get it sorted i promise <laughs> i like this little guy he's funny He does look very toxic though. Okay, um, I want to give him, how about some nice blue eyes. Right, what colour should we do his mouth? Shall we give him some orange teeth? There we go, and go with this weird green colour again for the inside of his mouth. And then this little guy is done. Oh, I've just noticed there's another pumpkin up there. Right, so we're on 34 minutes. Let's just colour in this in this dark green. I really am tempted to finish this off on camera, but I don't know if you guys would want to sit for another 20 minutes or so. And the video probably will take three years to upload. <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to do this leaf. In this teal colour.
you have to let me know what you guys think of this picture considering i was gonna ditch it i wasn't gonna finish it off i think it's actually turning out all right now Okay, there's that one. Right, I really want to colour this guy in this colour. <laughs> Make him nice and pink. A nice magenta. Because why not? Oh, how cute is he? This colour is actually going down a lot darker than the actual barrel of the pen suggests. Still, he's cute though. Thinking of what colour I want to do is I. I'm thinking pink for his eye. Oh. <laughs> I'm so weird. Right, let's make it yellow. Ooh, fluorescent for his teeth. And how about his dusky pink for his eye? There we go. Right, so all we've got left to do is the other pumpkin and a few of the flowers and this one is done. So I'm going to finish this one off camera I think, but here's a picture of what I've done so far. I think he's turning out quite good considering I was so disappointed, when, especially when I got to this part. I actually think he's my favourite. And we'll, so we'll, make, we'll finish off making all the flowers all nice and pretty and, uh, and yeah, I think it's... Um, turned out all right so if you have enjoyed the video oh i forgot to show you this was the one that i did it wasn't that one it was out of the cute witches book this was the one that i did yesterday that i finished off camera um it is on instagram as well so if you are following me there you can see this picture up on my Instagram page as well so that is what I finished off yesterday and I am going to finish this one off now and then I will show you what the finished picture looks like in my next video so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed it if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, 
oh, subscribe if you are new to my channel and um, click the bell to get notified when I upload my next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day and I shall see you all next time. Take care. Bye.